Hey everybody and welcome back to Acrylic Pouring. This is Anne Upton here to teach you how to make some resin coasters today. Now if you already know the basics of resin like how to mix and how to add pigments, go ahead and skip forward to about the two minute mark. If you're new to resin though, stick around for this. I started here with equal parts of my resin and my hardener. You want to make sure you look at your resin and read how much the parts of each are and mix according to those directions. I would say almost all resin fails or things that you have done wrong like curing or if it's too sticky um, can all be accounted for by not reading the directions. So make sure you check those out and mix according to those. For mine, it's equal parts and I'm going to mix them together for three minutes. Okay, so all of my resin is mixed thoroughly and now I'm going to start adding my colors. I separate them into little containers and I add in a mixture of a high flow acrylic. I use some powdered pigments. I use glitter and I use some mica flakes. You can use up to 10% by volume of any of these things in your resin, but if you add any more than 10%, it might make your resin cure improperly. And remember, when you're adding resin, unlike an acrylic pour, you don't have to add very much to get a really pigmented pour. So start small, you can always add more. And also, once you mix in these colors and acrylics and pigments, your resin should be a little bit like the consistency of honey. If it's not like that, you can add a little bit of denatured alcohol to thin. And again here, remember the 10% rule and not to add more than 10% by volume to your resin just to make sure that it cures properly. Now for the coasters that I'm doing here, I'm doing an assortment of beach pours. So I'm going to have a couple shades of blue, a black for my black sand beach, and a regular tan for the tan part of my beach and of course just like any beach pour you need some waves so I'll also have a white. Now you don't have to do a beach pour on your coasters you can literally use any colored resin you'd like. This is more just what I like to do with my coasters but you can do anything and just change in your design and your colors and um, do whatever you want. Okay, so I have all my little things of resin mixed up with the colors, and I'm going to start doing the pour. Now these coasters are just regular tile coasters. They're about 17 cents, and you can get them at any hardware store. I have cardboard underneath of them, and then I have them elevated just a little bit because they will stick to the cardboard if you get any resin on the bottom of them. So I'm going to start with my black for my black sand beach. And again, you can use any colors that you want. And also I should say, I didn't do anything special to these coasters to prime them. I just made sure that they were free of any dust. Um, you can use an alcohol uh, pad if you want to clean them off, if you notice anything on them. But otherwise with resin, you're good to go to pour directly on top of it. So you can see I'm working on my black sand beach coasters to start with and it's a little bit of a darker uh, color set but it looks really cool once you get the waves on. So I'm just doing kind of like stripes of my black and my shades of blue and I'm using my gloved hand to blend all the colors together and I'm picking the coaster up and I'm uh, blending it all down the sides so that the beach scene goes all over the top and the sides of the coaster. I've got all my base colors for these set of four coasters laid down and I blow torch the top of it 
to get out any air bubbles and to make the top super smooth. And now I'm starting to add the waves. And I'm using a fork here because it kind of gives me these really cool thin lines. And I'm adding it in between the layers of the blue and the black where the waves would meet the sand. And I'm also blowtorching this at about a 45 degree angle until you can kind of start to see it bubble. But you want to be careful because you don't want to burn your resin. But you'll be able to see the resin start to move around and you'll see it kind of start to lace a little bit. So you want to blowtorch it till you see that. And then you can pick your coasters up and move them around. And then you'll start to get that really awesome lacing effect in your waves. And here I'm starting another set of four coasters, and this one is more of traditional. Um, monotone colors, neutral colors, and it's not a beach pour, just so you guys can see how versatile these colors of resin are. So I'm starting with black, and I'm going to add black, white, and silver, and that's it. And you can do whatever colors, whatever design. So you can see here, I'm kind of just pouring it really wherever I want. I don't have any design in mind because there's honestly no way you can mess up resin. It will blend together so beautifully. And once you add that torch and you start to tilt it, all those colors will just mix and match really well. Um, if you're worried about how your colors will interact, a really great way to determine what colors to use is to look at the color wheel and just use complementary colors. So again, I'm doing these in a really similar way to what I did the first four. I'm using my gloved hand to get it all around the sides and to spread it out on the top. And then once I have everything kind of where I want it, then I add the torch and I pick them up and I move them around some more. And again, no wrong way to do this. Just make sure that you're torching enough to get any of the air bubbles out. And just a few more resin tips for you. I would recommend covering your project when you're done with it because any lint or dust or pet hair in the air could stick to your resin and then when you um, go check on it the next morning, it's going to be completely hard and you're going to have a big old piece of dog hair in it. Trust me, I've done it and it's never fun to fix. So cover it up. Don't touch it and let it sit for at least 24 hours, but probably more. Just check your resin, um, the back of your resin, because it'll tell you how long you have to wait for it to cure to touch. I'm just going to go ahead and add some finishing touches to these set of coasters. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you try this. Let me know what colors you did. And I would love to hear what kind of videos you want next. Do you want to learn how to do more with resin? Or would you like to learn how to do some more stuff with acrylic? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks for tuning in to Acrylic Pouring with Ann Upton.
Thank you.